Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Chuck It Missile mod, which is being made by user Colonel Mustard. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a missile that you can chuck at your enemies rather than firing them from a missile launcher. And I really love this mod because I always end up with a ton of missiles in my inventory because I loot everything, but I rarely ever carry a missile launcher because they're just so darn heavy. But with this mod, you can modify those missiles so you can use them like a grenade. And I love that. They are a missile you throw and are still rocket assisted because they're missiles still. Wonderful. So let's jump on over here and have a look at what exactly we are getting with the Chuck It Missile. Which, in its most basic and standard, and well, frankly, only form, it is a grenade after all, it will do 148 damage with a firing rate of a zero, a range of 93, accuracy of 65, and a fairly hefty weight of three. But honestly, it kind of makes sense. If you are looking at this thing, it is a literal missile that has been jerry-rigged effectively with a an ignition system here for it to still ignite the missile aspect but while you throw it which yeah is gonna make it pretty heavy it's not you know just some small little grenade it's a whole deal so you're never gonna want to carry too many of these but even with a few in hand you'll have some of the capabilities of a missile launcher though more on the limitations to that in a moment and overall, just have some good times with a missile you can chuck. And it's it's a lot of fun. I love throwing these things. They are pretty darn cool. Now, as for the damage you see here, the 181 compared to the base damage, that is 148. We'll go over that in a moment when we talk about one of the two ways that you get your hands on one of these lovely things. So let's talk about that here. And first and foremost, we're going to go over the optional way of getting these. There are no hard requirements for this mod, but if you do have Robco Patcher installed in your game, this will show on Raiders and as random loot in the leveled loot list. Now again, that's only if you do have Robco Patcher. Without that installed, the one and only way you can get this is by going to any chemistry station in the world and you'll simply make it in the grenade category where you got the Chuck It missile here or just some cloth, gears, of course, missiles, plastic, and spring. And of course, rank one in demolition and two in scrounger. The scrounger kind of makes sense since you're jerry-rigging this thing, but the demolition is the really important one here because, of course, that is what's bumping up my base damage, which, if you're going with this way without Robco Patcher, effectively, that's going to be your base damage. But if you do have the Robco Patcher installed, you might get these thrown at you or find them in chest and you could see them before you ever get the Demolition Expert perk. But overall, they're not too hard to get their, your hands on and easy to make with some pretty base materials. This the one problem is that very, very hefty weight compared to most normal grenades being, you know, 0.5 to 1 usually around there. So three is pretty big, but oh well, it's still magnificent. So let's take a look at this thing in use and go over those limitations I mentioned. Now I could chuck them at these as per usual and boom, there we go, it worked. But to see how these function and what the major limitation is, let's go long. Since these are heavy missiles, heavier than normal, they are going to move slower than a normal missile, and they will have a noticeable arc in its flight path. Because they are grenades, after all. The mod maker had to work within the confines of the grenades of the game. And so, we have a missile with an arc. I was aiming up there, and it hit 
down there. It's effectively just becomes a rocket-assisted grenade, allowing it to go much, much further than a normal grenade could be thrown. And I really do love that, because I'm actually pretty bad about judging where a grenade normally is going to hit, but it's a bit easier when you have this sort of rocket-assisted grenade there. It's, it's pretty nice, and I do love that even on the mod page, the mod maker gave it that lore reason for why it has the arch and the slower missile. It's because, you know, you had to attach all those things for the ignition system, so of course it's gonna go slower and start to aim downwards. So, not too bad at all. But yeah, with this with this being a rocket-assisted grenade, you can, you can really throw these things far. I mean, I would never be able to throw all the way up that hill with a normal grenade. <laughs> But with this, you can! There it goes! And also, I mean, just the idea of a rocket-assisted grenade that's jerry-rigged from a missile is just such a fallout thing to me that I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things about this mod. So let's take a look at it against a normal enemy, and for some godforsaken reason, I'm going to choose a death claw. Because, yeah, sure, finding a death claw with rocket-assisted grenades is the best idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out though! Hello, Deathclaw! Eat grenade! Oh, I thought you were about to move! No, now you are! Oh, and then you stopped again! How dare you! Well, eat that! You know, this is actually going pretty well against him! <laughs> Yay for rocket assisted grenades! Oh, that was bad! Granted, you know, I wonder with the right arc if we could get him back there. Wait for it. Ooh, a little high, a little high. Let's aim it down. Wonderful, come on! We got him there! <laughs> <laughs> I got the damage markers. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Oh, I, yeah, I just love this idea of these rocket-assisted grenades. Oh, I think we broke his leg? Either that or here, he's just stuck. Well, eat this, Deathclaw. There we go. Oh, yeah, we broke his leg. Well, it's going to be even easier to take him out now. There we go. Magnificent. <laughs> that actually worked a lot better than half the guns we test. <laughs> wonderful. Now, generally, I don't think you'd want to be carrying around 50 grenades of this variety, considering each one weighing three. We're currently carrying 150 mass worth of shocket missiles, but it's still just wonderful. I think keeping, you know, 10 on hand at any given point is not that bad of an idea, as you have a almost, almost the capability of a normal missile launcher, but in grenade form, and you can always make more on the go if you ever encounter a chemistry station. It's just a fun, weird idea, and I absolutely love it, and it just feels very Fallout to me. So if you'd like to check this out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the video, as per usual. Well, that's going to be it for this one today, my friends. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for whatever mod we do look at next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.